Speakers up, blasting through your airwaves. Stressing through the week, but now it's hump day. Whether at home or riding through your city, it's always gratitude when you're lounging lyrically. Trying to justify it in the midweek minute. Screaming blessings up to the black on business. We really love our fans and their energy. The message is vibe over everything. Y'all out the big week vibe. I'm your boy Cobain. And it's Draper Winston. I am. I can't fucking hear myself. Dang, I barely can hear me. What the hell is going on? Yeah, I can barely hear myself. I can barely oh, hear me. I, I can barely hear. There we go. Get that going on. Oh, no. Yeah, I can barely hear my. A little better right there. Look. A uh, li- yeah. little better right there. I still there. can't fucking hear myself. Yeah, a little it's better. It's crazy. It's crazy. A little All right, better. but how's everybody out there doing? You know, how you doing, bro? Man, I am doing well. I am doing amazing out here. You know what I'm saying? Out here um, doing well, if you will. Man, uh, we are sitting here doing well, and well and we are doing is what I'm trying to say. Uh, <laughs> we are oh doing shit. well, and well is what we are doing. Uh, man, everything is going good, man. I can't complain, man. It is Wednesday. It, uh, it always feels good to be here near. here. You know, at the studio on Wednesday, doing what we do, man, and uh, man, I'm well, man. How you doing, brother? Br- bro, you know, um, life, life is happening, <laughs> but you know, other than that, you know, I'm good. You know, I look, hey, life, I, right? It look, whenever life happens, I say, look, look, I'm still lifing, still lifing. I'm dog. still like, li- like life is lifing. You are still lifing. We are still here doing, you know, you, you you're doing life. So you if know? you're lifing, if you're here and you're lifing, mm-hmm. you're lifing. As long as I'm still using the worms to catch fish, instead of you, never mind. I said, as you long as, <laughs> as look, look, I was like, I was, I was look, I was in Menage Rumba right there. I was That's what it. I was about to ask. You I like was. Look, look. The man that uses worms to fish <laughs> is not eaten <laughs> by the worm. The <laughs> Naji Rumba. Yeah, if that ain't the most <laughs> Shaquille Sunflower <laughs> that I've ever heard. No, I mean, Goodness. I, was, I mean, I was, look, I, you know, some people say I speak in parables sometimes, but I was really trying to say, um, in a nutshell, you know, hey, I'm six, look, I'm six feet on this side of the, you know, of the rim, so I'm right. still good. You know, every time life is life and whatever, I look around, there's a lot of people that's worse off than I am. Man, it's, you know, that's a very, uh, very profound statement to make there, brother, because it is, man, this is, you know, a lot of times in, in life, a lot of times in life when we'll, be like, man, I'm not doing this yet. I'm not at this spot. I'm not, you know, doing what I need to do in this space. You know, I'm trying to make this happen. I need to be doing this. I'm supposed to be at this level. When a lot of times, man, you're so much further along than some other people may be, right, that's trying to get to you. There's a lot of people that may be looking up to you as to what you're doing, and you don't even realize it, bro. you know? Like, and I, you know, and I, look, like, I, I barely use my Twitter, even though I I, I I search through that shit, you know, a lot. I barely <laughs> use my Twitter, although I tweet in the midnight hours. That's when I tweet, or whatever like that. And one of the tweets that I, you know, um, that I put out last night was remembering why I started. Yeah. And yeah. you know, a lot of, the, and I guess like I'm going through, I'm going through a season right now where I'm look, I'm. I'm wanting that instant, you know, gratification. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Like we, like we've been at it for so long. I'm absolutely. like, why having certain things, you know, yeah. and not understanding. We still chipping away at the wall, and the diamond is right. Look, see, I'm preaching today. Is right. Y'all gonna catch all? <laughs> y'all, <laughs> y'all, gonna catch, y'all finna catch, brother. Y'all finna catch all this today. I'm preaching today, but <laughs> like you know, and and obviously, like the you know the. The uh, the memory you know came up of you know this time last year Jeez. we like we were doing our live show yeah um I lost my fucking train of thought what I was about to fucking say it was about to be really profound I bet no 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 uh, uh, in, uh, but I'm yeah let me look, okay so I'm back <laughs> on the track no but uh, so you like, I mean just remembering just remembering like you know why like why we started why we started this why I started this whole journey of you 
know, doing what my heart desires, doing what I love, yeah. and not you know, giving a fuck about anybody who has anything negative to say. Right. And that, like, that's what I was going. I knew if I if I kept you going, you had to talk yourself back into it. No, if all. I kept going, you, you had know. to talk yourself right back into <coughs> it. <coughs> so, and you talk about inspiring some people. Like I had, you know, my nine to five had a coworker who's found me on social media and shit. Mm-hmm. And so she sees like the you know the video clips from the show and everything else and I have other people who who you know who are saying the same like yeah you just don't know how much you're inspiring us sitting here like wow yeah okay yeah. and we don't and, and we don't feel like we where we want to be at you all you know we don't feel like we're where we want to be at all and <laughs> and in the space that we want to be in you know but what's crazy is that what's crazy is that we're so far along. Like what happens is this is this is what what I see happens a lot of times with people, right? And especially people that you make the decision, you know, you will, that's w- w- that's good Will Smith. It, all right, there's two of them. There's bad and Will big wa- bad and good Will Smith. So that motherfucker's canceled right now. Let's let's good Will Smith it right now. You <laughs> you decide. Ah ah ah. You decide that you know what, man. I'm not made for this routine that I'm in, right? And I have these gifts that I've been given that I want to use and I need to use them before I leave the face of this earth. Yes. And so when you make that decision, it's like, you know what, man, I'm going for it. I'm doing it. Right. But as artists, we look at ourselves, we're like, man, gosh, okay. All right. I got to do this. I got to do this. I get to do this. I need to be at this spot. I need to be at this spot. Right. Little do we know. (laughs) Little do we know is there are people that are looking yes. at everything that we may consider like, ah, oh, golly, man, it's just, oh, oh, I just put out, a, I just put out a track, or I just put out an album, oh, I just did a movie, I just did this, right? To us, it's like I just did this. To them, it's like, damn, bro, like, it, so, like I told you, we, you know, we talked, you know, some business last, was it last? No, night before last. Mm-hmm. And I was like, yo, I mean, let's go. I mean, I'm ready to go. Like, yeah. I've, I've, you know, since since I put out Love Cobain, I've already, you know, set the framework of, you know, off of at least, at least 60 new tracks. Golly, 60. And I did, like, the day before. 60. Last time I, last time I worked, the day before yesterday, I d- you know, I did seven. And Ooh. I'm sitting, like, I'm sitting here, and I'm, you know, I'm in a groove or whatever. But then there are days like today where... I'm sitting there for hours, and I'm just like, you know, just clicking through sounds, clicking through samples, yeah. everything else. Yeah. And I start, like, I start something, but then nothing really, you know, manifests or nothing, to like, nothing that I like. Yeah. You know, it yeah. started, so it's like, I just, you know, cut the shit off. <laughs> let me watch something. <laughs> Try know. to get some inspiration. Let me watch something, some, like, all right, look, let, me get, let me get some food or something. It's ready, like, yeah. ready to go to the studio. But, you know, um, I need to do a better job. You know, at this, uh, <laughs> you know, Midweek Vibe is uh, powered by Hello Studios right here <laughs> in the heart of yeah. downtown Dallas. Yeah. Also, also, I need to do a better job of this. Uh, Midweek Vibe is brought to you by Bacardi Dallas. Also, <laughs> by, by Still House. Make sure your house is still. Make sure your house is still. Yeah. So, you know, we're going to do a much better job. We're going to actually put, th- I'm going to get their logos, just pictures. And our sponsors be looking at us crazy. I like know. Look, hey, Still House. I know. Look, I know. I know you have a slogan, but I kind of tweaked it a little bit, yeah, to fit us, just to fit us, you know. But still, house, y'all, man, we be communicating. Look, look, look. Here it is. Look, y'all can say pause if y'all want to, <laughs> but the slo- but the slogan is simple. Let the vibe go where the glass can't. Oh man, <laughs> man <that's about> <laughs> I don't know what else you can say there. <laughs> I mean, some some people would catch that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what else you can say there. <laughs> Some people catch that shit. But, you know, that's it. Still house. Let your house be still. Let your house be still. Mm-hmm. All right. So, speaking of house being still, somebody needs to burn down this motherfucking house that we about to talk about right now. Well, let's get this all into it because this is about shit. to roll this week, y'all. Listen. It listen. is so much going on. <laughs> listen. Let's bring back. Let's bring back the times. Let's bring back the times of the Ruby, the Birdies, the Beulahs, the um, <laughs> you know the Robbies, the the Earls, the yeah. 
You know, oh look, you look if you look if you're hearing these fucking names, a lot of y'all grandparents and great grandparents had these damn names. Mine was one of the men that y'all just gotta figure that shit out. But there's one thing that all of them had in common. They knew how to fucking cook. <laughs> <laughs> You know, look, it, hey, it's been wild. It's one thing is true. One thing is true. They knew how to cook, and not only look, you look, it'd be three people in a goddamn house. They cooking like they cooking for a whole goddamn platoon, and that's it. Mm-hmm. And that's it. That is that's it. it. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> that is it. So, <laughs> with that being said, that you know, this oh, look, I'm this generation, I know, uh, this <laughs> generation, this generation now, there's a lot said that the women either don't know how to cook. Or they don't want to cook be because they feel like that that strongholds them within a certain position yeah. that's that's that, that that's not up to date or whatever. Man, you know who fucked that up? Who? Destiny's Children's and them fucked that shit up. Okay, <laughs> they fucked that all the way up. All right, yeah. Destiny's Children when they dropped that song, Independent Women, oh. that lost it oh and man. that that just changed the trajectory of what women. Now we're not saying that. At the time, women were sitting in the house with their legs crossed with aprons on. No. We weren't saying that. Not at all. We'll but it was like now, all of a sudden, it's like there's more. All the women. Yeah. Women, throw the door dash at me. <laughs> that's what we. That's what more it is now. That's what. It's, hey, it's all the women independent. I am. They want. They want to be independent women. And then. And then Webby messed it up. I N D E P E D letters and Sh- all them stuff. Charlemagne, Charlemagne, Sh- Charlotte, 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 <laughs> Angela Lee. Angela Lee. God damn, y'all got some names on y'all. <laughs> no, okay. I'm gonna get it right. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, hey, but hey look, yeah, if, man, look, if that's you who messed it up. That's it, who I think messed it up. I mean, we look, we can go down the list. We can go down the list of a lot of motherfuckers. Like hell, even Cardi B right now. Like you know. In the in the city I, girls, I don't cook, I don't clean, but I still got a ring. But I still got a city girls say whatever. I mean, you know, it's the narrative that they want to spew, and and hey, teach his own, teach his own. We want to say that, teach his own, teach his own. But if you get your ass, if you step your ass over the gun line, the gun line, boss. <laughs> if you step your ass over the gun line, you better you better be able to use the utensil. That's and you know, I'm gonna say that one more time. If you step your ass over that gun line, you better be able to use the utensil. Right. Now, look, and we're not asking for Sunday dinner, Sunday after church dinner. I ain't asking for Bobby, Bo- Bobby Flay. I ain't, I, ain't asking I, ain't <laughs> <laughs> I ain't asking for, you Gordon know. Ramsey. I ain't not, look. I'm not asking for that. You know what I'm what's saying? Her, what's the her name? What's her name that be on the uh, cooking uh, channel? Uh, uh, what's the baby name? We, <laughs> shit. <laughs> not Courtney. It's not Courtney. Not. No, uh, I can't <laughs> remember the baby name. What is the baby <laughs> name? That the lady. Martha, yes. Not Martha. Martha. Uh, not Martha. Mar- Martha Stewart. But, you know, it's like she cook a little something. She cook a little something. But. <laughs> uh, I, don't I, mind she cook. I forgot. Look, I forgot the other shit. But we're not asking that. We're not asking for you to be a nine-star chef. But I'm also not asking for no goddamn lunchables. Like, <laughs> <laughs> not asking for no. What well, more? I'm not asking for no hungry man. The hungry man. <laughs> <laughs> not the hungry man dinner. You know. Hey. You know. Sometimes. Sometimes. Look. You can pop open a can, look, uh, 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 a can of Campbell's, the soup, the, the beef yeah. stew. Hold on, put in the goddamn pot and fool the fuck out of me. Fool look, me. Fool me once. I'm not Bush. I'm not fool <laughs> me once. Fool me twice. Shame on me. Rachel Ray. Yes. Rachel Ray. There you go. Yes. Rachel Ray is who we was looking yes. for. Yes. Rachel Ray. Thank you so much. We fool, just couldn't find fool it. Fool me once. Shame on me. Fool me twice. Fool me. Thank let's you, just Jay. say you. Let's Thank just you say Jay. you can't fool me again. Thank you, Jay. We just couldn't figure yeah, the name, baby name, Rachel couldn't. Ray. Yeah, but you can't fool me. But nah. but one time. Matter matter of fact, matter of fact, matter of fact. If look, if you do pop open the Campbell's and put it in the look, put it in the pot or whatever it's at, and I come in as a small ass pot, I'm gonna look at you like Martin did, Gene and them. Y'all ain't do nothing but snap them ragged ass. You just snap them peas over. That's all you did was snap them ragged. S-E. You ain't do nothing but throw some goddamn season salt. It is that's goddamn bland ass uh, Campbell. That's it. That's all you did. And you, it was even crazy. It's like, baby, you know, quarantine, quarantine, uh. right? Quarantine brought out the fettuccine Alfredo <laughs> motherfuckers, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's what quarantine brought out, okay? Is that a fettuccine? The fettuccine Alfredo motherfuckers, right? Never in history, okay? Never in history has there been... Oh, shit. There's been, the shelves have been barren oh. of Alfredo sauce. Oh, my God. Okay? Motherfuckers was making Alfredo. 
Motherfuckers, hold on. Look, look, they making our Alfredo. The <laughs> motherfucker making a whole look, look a whole bunch of grilled cheese. <laughs> it wasn't a loaf of bread in that motherfucker. <laughs> it was nothing. Oh and man. That says, so if you can't, if you can't, Jay, you better be not. You better not be out here making Alfredo all the time. Now, if you can't make Alfredo, now, because all you're doing is you boil in the water, right? You bring the water to a rolling ball. You boil the water. Throw the and here's and here's where you can get creative with it. You can choose. What fucking pasta you want? Nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yes. You can choose what pasta I you want. I personally like bow ties. Yeah. You know what? Yes. Bow ties the t- is it top yes, tier it is. pasta, right? It is. And then I can go with penne pasta. You know what? Okay. You know what? You know what? You know what? I fuck them up every now and then. Bruh, I do that Alfredo shit, but I get some ravioli. Get the <laughs> motherfucker and put it, <laughs> you know, you spice that shit up. It's a little different <laughs> approach. Thank me later. All right? But we're going to talk about this motherfucker here. Hey, City Girls. City Girls. City Girls, y'all are down 50 million after this shit. City Girls. Ain't no coming back from this shit. Ain't no coming back from this. Oh, boy. My God, man. Here we go. After You done had albums written about you. Robin lost without you. Can't help myself. How does it feel to know that my goddamn wife can't cook? Can't cook. Can't cook a goddamn Can't cook a thing. Now, if y'all have not seen the fucking video, Paula Patton. Lord Paula Patton. Paula. 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 Paula Patton. Paula. Cooking fucking chicken. Or the lack thereof. The lack thereof. Now, she, look, she got on there with all the confidence in the fucking world, she too. She showed it. <laughs> Apron and all. Now, this is my, how does she talk? Now, this is my mom's recipe that we're going to do now. Um, oh, that's dope. She cleaned, look, she cleaned the chicken in the sink. Well, first of all. <laughs> rinse that shit in She the sink. rinse that shit <laughs> off in the sink. When I say rinse, <laughs> it's like a she baptized. It was just a little dip. You know, she did, you know, <laughs> you know when them nasty motherfuckers go to the bathroom and they don't wash their hands, they do this here. Hold on. Not even <laughs> they that. do this here with they the just, whoosh. <laughs> Hopefully the sensor cut on when my hands go you know, up. If it didn't, it's not my fault. Hey, I tried. And then they try to fist bump your ass. If you get your fucking <laughs> you ass on, those dirty <laughs> ass hands. You over there holding your private parts. You want to shake hands? Hold on, bro. And then, oh shit. And look, and then she put the look. She put the shit in the goddamn pan. She put it in. The, hold on. Put it in the pan with look with the napkin up under, with the paper towels up under, with the paper towels up under, bro. I ain't see that. Look, nary. Nary seasoning. <laughs> I ain't see, look. I ain't seen a grain of salt. Look, I ain't seen no look as white people. I ain't seen no sea salt. <laughs> no kosher salt. That was not <laughs> one piece <laughs> of salt. Oregano. And if one thing they gonna have, <laughs> they gonna have some salt. <laughs> they gonna have some kosher. Some Morton's kosher salt. <laughs> <laughs> and they gonna have some sea salt. Or some a, pe- a, Himalayan no, salt. They have that. none of that. No, fuck that. They gonna have some dash up in their goddamn house. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I didn't see one goddamn grain of dash or nothing that hit that goddamn chicken. I didn't see a speck of pepper. <laughs> I didn't see a sli- I didn't see a speck of pepper. I didn't see a slither. Nothing. Of of of, of adobo of 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 Larry season <laughs> salt. There was no color of anything. Nothing. No old bay. Nothing. There was nothing. You know what? Anything. And how it look? Hold on. And how it look? It look. It's in. First SAT word. It it look it was indicative of how she was cooking because look the first thing that she put on the goddamn chicken is flour. The first thing. The first goddamn the thing. First thing. She. <laughs> Jay Jay said I heard about that. So I Yo. heard about that. Someone said she seasoned the grease. <laughs> Yo, hold on. She threw look. She threw all the chicken in the fucking flour. Hold on. Shook look. Shook it up in the bag. Shook it up in the bag and then put the shit in the grease. And then put it in the grease, right? Hold on. Ain't no egg and no milk Look. that you coating it with. Where? <laughs> so obviously she didn't season the shit because it ain't marinated. No. She didn't put no pickle juice in there and no. buttermilk, egg to marinate it. No. And then how the fuck is the. <laughs> ain't shit sticking ain't to it. Ain't shit sticking. What the fuck is that? Ain't no, look, ain't no crisp. Ain't no sticking to that shit. Nothing is sticking to it. It looked like chicken jerky. <laughs> like, how the hell? That's what it looked like. It looked like chicken jerky, oh. fried chicken jerky. Hold on, and then hold on. Then she put, then she, then she took it out the flour and then put it in the fucking grease, and then put it in the, like hold she on. just, <laughs> and then decides, <laughs> and then decides, and then decides she want to throw some seasoning on that shit. Now, look, and the seasoning looked like brick dust, 
I don't know what the fuck that was, bro. Like where you find it? No onion powder, no, no nothing, no garlic powder, nothing. Like that, like that's that's the holy trinity of yeah. seasonings, right? Like everybody got garlic. I don't care what you cook it. Look, you gonna put garlic powder and onion powder on look, on it? I don't care what you cook. Listen, it. they go in everything. Listen, either you got look, either you got Larry seasoning salt, yes, or you got uh, or you got the season all salt. One of the, look, one of the fucking two. One of them going in there. Look, hold on, you got some uh, what 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 is it? What is slap your mama? Yeah. Or you got the uh, what's the, the, the what's if the? If you're from Louisiana, where we go, what we buy, Tony Sachery. Tony Sachery. That's what we have. Or you got some Obey. Or Obey, but you gonna have something. Something. If look, look, if anything, you got that look, look, you got that little economy, the little, little, little <laughs> the salt and pepper that come in, the salt come in a little white case, the white <laughs> and the pepper come <laughs> in the, the black. black. If you ain't got nothing else, you got that little ass shit. At least that. <laughs> At and least that, that come together. And that ain't but a dollar twenty five because of inflation. Exactly. It used to be seventy five yes. cents in the black and white can. Exactly. Yeah, man. But if you ain't you she ain't she didn't pull out not one of them. Not one of them. She didn't pull out not, not one. one. And then she felt like that she was being generous with the goddamn season. You seasoning the goddamn grease. The grease. <laughs> you seasoning that canola oil. That's what the fuck you doing. It's so ain't <laughs> shit of that seasoning getting on the damn no. chicken. <laughs> None of the fucking seasoning getting on the chicken. She seasoned the grease. <laughs> <laughs> she, she pouring it in the grease, the damn season evaporating because yeah. it's too damn hot. That's it. <laughs> and now look, hold on. And now look, and now her chicken, now her chicken looking like that little dry ass two piece that you get from uh, you get from Williams. That's exactly what it's looking like. <laughs> them, them look like the chickens that be at the back of uh, the uh, yeah, uh-huh. when you go, you know, you walk in and you see the fresh pieces you be at like, the front. You be like, nah, give me that over there. I want, I want them, them that y'all just dropped. Y'all, <laughs> y'all, you, you just, you just drop them. I want them. Don't give me the ones that you got in the back. She got the look. Her chicken. I want the ones that just dropped. Look like them pieces of chicken. They look like gizzards. They ain't shit on that's, there. That's shit exactly on? what them shits look like. <laughs> them shits like motherfucking gizzards. Ain't that's what them shits look ain't like. Shit on there. <laughs> them shits look gizzards. Look, look like gizzards. That's and look. The chicken, the pre-chicken, <laughs> looked like it was it was frozen. Hell yeah. Because she just thawed it, right? It's been sitting. She didn't even sit it out. She oh. ran it up under water. Oh. She didn't pull it out and let, on, it, let it defrost all day. Hold on, bro. How the fuck you get flour on your goddamn apron? You ain't... The flour was in a bag. <laughs> the, look, the, look, look, the flour didn't leave a fucking bag. It ain't on the chicken. How the hell you get it on your apron? Now, I expected more out of Paula. Uh. Okay. I expected more out of Paula, and here's why I expected more out of Paula. All right, now Paula is is black, you know, or halfway, or something like that, mm-hmm. right? Whatever her m- ratio is. Uh-huh. Okay. She was married to Robin Thicke. Okay, <laughs> one of the blackest white guys that we know, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. His dad, Alan, Alan Thicke. Alan, yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Was married. Or had dated a black woman as well. And so, I believe, okay, allegedly. Yeah. So, at some point in time, for a dude to sing like Robin does, right, and and have the swag mm. that Robin has, there's no reason. No. There's no reason. No. That, that a piece of fried chicken has not entered that home. Listen. There's no way that that has not happened. No, look, no way in hell, bro. That that has not happened. No way. So for them, for her to do that and to say my famous grandmama's or whoever relative she gave it to. Yeah, it was it. But I forgot what relative she gave it to. And black black Twitter, you know, black Twitter, I black Twitter killed that shit. <laughs> black Twitter killed that shit, bro. Because you look, because they were like, you know what side, you know what side that shit came from. Right. <laughs> <laughs> of course they did. Of course they did. <laughs> I need that door fucking closed. I know. <laughs> <laughs> y'all, we this inside shit happening at the studio, it is, y'all. It this is shit happening at the studio, y'all. Can't even no studio chronicles. Studio I, <laughs> no, but look, look, bro. Like obviously, obviously, they came from you know black, look, black Twitter. Like went went all the way to fuck in. Yeah, that, yeah, that's that white side of her family. That recipe. How the fuck did she did not know, not know how to exactly? And see, that's what J- Jay said it too. There has to be a tinge of soul somewhere. Somewhere, somewhere that has to be some sort of soul, because I you we know the music that they was look, once listening to. You fool, look if if not, you fool the fuck out of us in Idlewild. You man, you fool the fuck out of yeah, us. I mean, come on now, <laughs> shit, you ain't. I mean, 
you just girl, you better act in a while because you was acting. Act, look, you was acting. Look, as Jamie Foxx said, uh, look, I don't know what he's doing, but I'm act, I'm I'm I'm, a, I'm act, act. I'm acting. I'm acting. <laughs> I act. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Oh my god, bro. Yeah, man. That's bad. We still uh, love you though, Paula. Yes. You know, but you City girls, y'all down fifty million. Y'all down. <laughs> y'all down a little bit. Y'all down a little bit. Y'all see y'all was on y'all was on Paula's side when Paula left Robin. Yeah, yeah. Y'all was on Paula's side. Now <laughs> Paula cooked that whack ass chicken. Oh my y'all god. Y'all don't wanna claim her. Y'all, claim y'all better claim. Ball. Y'all don't wanna claim her. Shit. That motherfucker. Don't don't treat don't y'all treat Paula like that. You know what? You know just what? Just she made some badass chicken. You know what? She did. She should have did a follow up. What size did she make with that? What, <laughs> see, now that's the question. That's the question. That's a really good question. What size did she make? That's a really good question. What size, right? Now, if we go by the picture, <laughs> if we go by the picture, all right, from oh. what we see, and now we go by the end product. Oh, fuck. All I see, okay. Oh shit. All I see is mashed potatoes with no butter or pe- or pepper. <laughs> Right. Out, out the box. Out the box. <laughs> they come in the flakes, right? They like flakes <laughs> that you pour in and you just pour some milk and whip Hell it. Yeah. That's it. You pour. You pour. <laughs> <laughs> you just. Oh, shit. It's the flakes, right? You pour. <laughs> My God. It's the, it's the flakes, right? It's the flakes, oh. okay, that you pour the milk in, oh. and you just mix it, right? It's the flakes you mix, right? And then... You ain't <laughs> no fucking way, bro. <laughs> and then... Right, bro. It's macaroni and cheese. Mm. The box macaroni and cheese. The crap. The crap. No, no, no. <laughs> With the powder cheese? No, 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 no. Bro, hold on, hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. She know she ain't even do... She ain't even do the... Uh, she ain't even do the <laughs> box... She didn't do the box math. She did look. You remember? You remember back in the day they had them argyle uh, potatoes. Things? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 argyle potatoes. <laughs> Yo, I fucking cry. Oh shit. I came with this Hold guy. Hold on. Who the fuck is eating all that goddamn chicken? There's a that's lot of five, chicken in there. That's five plates of chicken, bro. There's a lot of chicken in there. <laughs> and guess what? It's five plates of uneatable chicken. <laughs> oh, Jay, shit. Jay said maybe it's diabetic friendly. Oh, hell no. <laughs> hell no. Oh, my hell God. No. Well, it's fucking gluten and taste free. Look, you got some canola soup. Cause she she, 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 she sees <laughs> the shit out of that grease. <laughs> <laughs> Some fucking olive oil soup. <laughs> Yo. Oh my God. <laughs> huh. Look yeah. at it. Look at the girl. Look, this is the last thing for Look at that grin. She only looks sure herself. She really don't. <laughs> she really don't. She really don't even look like she was like, Yeah, I did this, y'all. Like she really looking at herself like I did it. Oh <laughs> my God. <laughs> Fuck. Look. I did it. Oh, that's all I see. Yes, she did. Yes, that's she all did. I see. Is her saying I did it. Now throw that shit away. <laughs> Please pass. Throw all that shit away. Pass. Oh my God, you had the nerve to burn a piece too. How did I see that shit in front of the plate? Oh. And then try to display it nicely and shit. Oh my God. Well, you know what? Uh, why the fuck did we think that this chicken was gonna be good? You see that sweater? Look at that sweater. That says it all right there. Don't don't talk about that. Her gr- her grandma her grandma knitted that. <laughs> yeah, as well as showed her how to cook that chicken. She cro- her grandma crocheted that. Cro- she crocheted the crocheted, shit out that. Crocheted that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, look, we gonna leave Paula alone. Paula, you know she still jumping the broom. All right, so um, <coughs> before we move on to the midweek minute. I want to send uh, send a shout out, you know, to uh, where, 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 where my where my applause at, motherfucker. What up, Paul? There you go. There we go. My applause to, you know, uh, the University of South Carolina. Boom. You know, Dawn Gamecocks. <laughs> Cox. Pause. Uh, see, I was gonna look. Really, no other way to say it. About to, no, we're gonna talk about that in a second too. It's just. Uh, <laughs> and shout out to the Cox. Pause. Yeah, and you know. The Kansas, fuck, 
motherfuckers. <laughs> the Kansas Jayhawks, you know. Kansas Jayhawks. Okay. Winning, uh, win, you know, winning the national title, <sighs> you know. College basketball, you know. Salute, look, salute to both those teams. Salute to everybody who, you know. Salute. Who yeah. put their effort, you know, but salute those two, you know. I'm going to um, say salute even though I'm a UNC Tar Heel fan. Yeah. I'm going to say salute to them. Um, salute even though I'm in, you know, in the long home, pause. You know, I'm you a. Know. They did it for the Big 12. I UNC guess. fan, you know, but um, yeah, you know, down 15. Yeah, you know, yeah, you know, a, a freak, <laughs> you know, floorboard slips, and oh, you know, yeah. our best player hurts his ankle. Yeah, <laughs> that's neither here nor there, though, you know. <laughs> the <laughs> Whatever. La- la- largest deficit in, in national, national title game history. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I will say, look, I will say, you know, I'm like I'm happy because you know. DF Dub, DF Dub got us one. You know, yeah. I forgot the kid's name. You know, well, uh, Wilson, Wilson, Wilson. You know, da- Dallas Day Wilson, Wilson. Out Dallas Wilson. Uh, Day Wilson. Didn't hi- didn't Ryan High School? There you go. Out of Didn't Ryan High go. School. Um, man, it was um, it was very impressive though. There yeah. was a lot of DFW kids. Oh my God, bro! That that were really. You know, making yeah. a name for themselves. Heard a, heard a lot of my, heard a lot of motherfuckers around the country get pissed off now because I'm starting to call Dallas the Mecca. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I'm so glad that you brought this up. <laughs> I'm so glad. I've been, I've been wanting to touch on this, you know, because see, <laughs> I, I find myself on these r- Twitter rants with yeah. other guys, and I don't like to get in to rants on Twitter, right? Yeah. It's just uh-huh. not, it's just not a good look. I'm like, so if we want to talk about it, man, let's meet somewhere and let's talk about it yeah. amongst the people, right? Yeah. Let's have a uh, um, um, an intelligent debate about it. Let's okay. do it. So now all of a sudden, right, um, there's been a turn in the into the the the, the universe of basketball uh-huh. in Dallas Fort Worth. Yeah. Right? Once known, right? Because you and I both grew up in this basketball. Yeah. Texas was known as a football state. Yes, and I can it I was especially Especially school you went to. Yeah, not like I can remember. I can remember like us having a fucking basketball game. This is college. Us having a fucking basketball game on a Saturday. And at the time, Cedric Benson, who was, you know, running back, UT, played in the league, you know, NFL, had a high school football game yeah. at Derrick K. Royal, uh, Royal uh, Stadium. Mm-hmm. He had more goddamn fans at that goddamn football game that we had in, <laughs> in, uh, in the Irwin Center at our basketball game, at a college game. That's how much, you know, back then, Texas was all football. Yeah. All football. Yep. Yep. Yeah, man. It's, um, it's, uh, it's turning. Yeah. And it, it, it well, man, you know what? I, I, I'll say this. It's not even turning. It is turned. That motherfucker turned. It is turned. All right. Uh, for one of the first time in basketball history, right? Dallas had five McDonald All Americans. Yes, five, five, five in the same goddamn year. In the same year. Now, granted, two of those dudes did go to prep school, right? They're at a prep school now, their senior year. Yeah, but they're born and bred and raised. Played their first three years in Dallas, Fort Worth. Yeah, right mm-hmm. in in the state of Texas, and so it started with Dallas and Houston. Mm-hmm. Right, it started with Dallas and Houston. Dallas and Houston was going back and forth, saying, "Uh, you know, Dallas got some ballers." Maybe this was about four or five years ago. Yeah. Dallas got some ballers. Houston got some ballers. They was like, "Well, you know, let's meet up. Let's send let's send the ballers out." Right. So of course, God, I can't believe I'm about to say this, but whatever. <laughs> I can't believe I'm about to say this. Man. Say it, bro. God damn it. Let it be known. Okay. So if you want to prove yourself as a basketball player, mm-hmm. right, yeah. there is one town that you have to step foot in mm-hmm. and you have to show your ass at. It is Duncanville, Texas. There you go. You don't necessarily have to go to the school. No. But you have got to come to Duncanville, Texas and show your ass, whether it be the Hoof Fest, at the Bob Knight, whatever. You got to come show your ass. Shout out to the national champion. <laughs> we weren't talking about that. <laughs> Just had to let it be known. We weren't you know? talking about that. We weren't talking about the national champion. Okay, what were we were talking about? We were talking about the mecca of basketball now being in fucking Dallas. Okay, it's not in Duncanville. It's in Dallas. All right. 
Now you do got to go play in Duncanville. Yes, but Duncanville hosts the number one team in the fucking country, bro. Okay. Let's go. Shit. That's, that's a part of Dallas, bro. Oh, part of yes. Mecca. It is a part five, of Five McDonald's All-Americans this year, the national fucking champions, and we at least have, what, two or three, two or three teams that were in the top – well, at least two teams that were in the top ten in the country this year. In the year. country, yes. Yes. Um, and, I mean, shit, they were – Almost made it to state. You had Richardson, you had Duncanville, and there was one more. Yeah. That was up there in top ten. So now all of a sudden, all of these Dallas teams are going <laughs> and they're beating, <laughs> you know. So let's just <laughs> fuck, I gotta say it again. All yes, right. Yes, let's go. So let's get specific, <laughs> right? So Duncanville kind of cemented it. Yeah. Okay. It, they they kind of cemented it with the season that they had. Yeah. With the season that they had, they lost one game. One to Richardson, who at the time was number two. Yeah, they were number two in the nation, so it was one and two going again. Yeah. Now, to be totally honest, that was that was the only team I think could have beat them. And I mean, you know, I'm just gonna go ahead and put this out here right now. You know, um, UIL, fuck you, y'all mm-hmm. were fucking with us the whole year, mm-hmm. and we they would have been undefeated, but you know, hey. Shout mm-hmm. out to Anthony Black, and y'all had to eat y'all fucking crow and calm as a bitch because y'all <laughs> kept that kid out of playing some of this year, but then y'all turn around and have to hand him the fucking the MVP, MVP trophy for winning goddamn state. Without, I mean, it was unanimous that unanimous. he was the, the yes. MVP. So sitting here at Duncanville, Duncanville goes on this, I mean, this epic season. Yeah. Right? But let's not downplay that Duncanville won th- the past three. Yeah. Championships, yes. state championships before, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. So now they go into their fourth champ, straight fourth. <laughs> all right. I count the COVID year because I mean to get there, well, nobody gonna fucking beat us that year, right? Well, nobody gonna beat y'all that year. <laughs> but to get there, so you know, whatever you fucking win, <laughs> fuck it. All right. Yay! Hey, we got to buy district at Bowie High School, <laughs> right? But anyways, so <laughs> fuck it, right? So. Oh, shit. We played our little one game and we <laughs> had our one playoff meal and we took it on in. <laughs> so, uh. Duncanville plays this epic season. They play this epic season. And, I mean, and they play every fucking body. Yes. Everybody. I mean, from Sunrise they Christian. Sierra Canyon. Sierra Canyon Mount to Verde. Mount Verde. I mean, they play yes. everybody. Play everybody. And they beat everybody. everybody. Yes. Like, they beat everybody. Some even going away. Yeah. Right? So, that statement right there, <laughs> mm-hmm. that type of season, okay? And you don't count their district. You can't count their district. Slept through that shit. Yeah, you can't count their district. There were games Anthony played five, ten minutes. Yeah. You know, some other guys played, you know. But that that preseason, yeah, that preseason yeah. was ridiculous, <laughs> uh-huh. right? So after playing that type of season and then coming in and winning the national – winning the state championship – and then being ranked. They weren't just in like 24, 25 nah. in the country. Nah. We're talking about the lowest they failed was two, maybe three. I, they, I, I, was, I was about to say, after they lost, after they lost, they, uh, they failed to fail to like three. Maybe, three four, right. That's what I'm saying. Four. That's it. So you're talking a high school team yeah. that's off of I-20 mm-hmm. is beating everybody in the nation. Yeah. And so there's no way that – that you can't say that that the Mecca is now <laughs> in DFW. <laughs> you can't say that it's anywhere else. It used to be New York. They used to say that it used to be Los Angeles. Yeah. But now you got to come here. Let me let, and let me look. Let me take let me take it a step further, bro. Let me take it a step further. Not only is a Dallas team in Duncanville yeah. the national champions. But on the girls' side, oh. the Soto High School was yeah. one, one or two in the country. They sure were. You damn so right. Now, we can't knock it. Can't forget the girls. So you now, right. So now you have boys and girls. Yeah. 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 You know what? Y'all gonna stop fucking with Texas. Y'all, y'all gonna, gonna stop fucking with us. Y'all gonna. Y'all gonna get it. Y'all gonna understand. <laughs> y'all come on. We ain't playing football no more here. We still are, but shit, we playing basketball around these parts. Shit. Well, look, our football teams always rank national. Always rank national. <laughs> we playing Bishop Gorman and shit. <laughs> Look, that is still the fucking crazy, but no, but Bishop Sycamore. <laughs> <laughs> we look, we play, we play to beat the fucking college kids. We play shit. shit, man. We play, we 
raping grown men that get us 27 with nine years of eligibility that's left. Sh- that's sharing helmets and shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro. Hey, bro. I mean, next year, can I get your shoulder pads? I get your shoulder pads, bro. <laughs> bro, I got like, I got to get on. Oh my god. All right, bro. Look, look. Speaking of getting, speaking of getting on, speaking of getting on. <laughs> Let's get to this midweek uh, midweek minute. Let's jump into it. Now, uh, it's been a minute since I've had a crazy one like this. Uh-oh. You know, I've had crazy ones, uh, you know, to start the year off. You would think. But this one is just my speed, you know, speed of jokes that I can come up with, Uh-oh. pause, and, you know, and run with. Uh-oh. All right, so <laughs> in relationships, you know, they always say it's good, good. You can match up with somebody that you're compatible with. That is true. You're compatible with. Yeah. You know, w- yeah. ladies, ladies, listen to me. Listen to me. You always say, you know, social media, this and the other. Why are men so fucking gross, this and the other? Newsflash. We're all fucking perverts. It's just a matter <laughs> of just a matter of what level of pervert your dude is. All right? Yeah. That's it. You that that was that's actually that was yeah. about the best way you could probably put it. Go. Yeah. You know, hey, some look, some people, some people, you know, per, look, perversion is like at a one. Some is like a three or four. Pretty me? up there. Me, like a nine or ten. Pretty up there. You know, pretty up there. You know, uh, but it all works out. Yeah. You know, you get some, like, you get a woman, you know, a young lady who, you know, meets your, you know, perversion. Mm-hmm. You know, and y'all just do crazy shit. Right. Let's do crazy shit. Now, one thing. One thing that's on everybody's bucket list, everybody's bucket list is doing, you know, doing something out in public. Yeah, out in public. Yeah, you're right about it that. It could be the dressing room. Right, you right. You know, could be the dressing room at, a, you know, department store, wherever it's at. A lot look, you know, a popular place, you know, could be the movies. Yeah. You know, a lot of people yeah. probably want to do some of the movies. But it's just one place. Uh-oh. One place. One place. It's always tricky. But everybody wants to do it. You know? What up, Jeff? And it's the actual, like, you know, it's the actual club that you can, you oh. know, that you oh. can be a part of. You know? <laughs> Call it the Mile High <laughs> Club. What's going on, people that just joined in? Oh, All right. man. <coughs> but <laughs> oh, you would kind of need a partner in order to join that club. Yeah, absolutely. Or so, or so they say. Well. <coughs> yes, Jay. A freak level, in yes, other words. A freak yes. level. Yes. Well, sorry to tell y'all people. You can join the Mount High Club by yourself. How the hell? All by right, here we go. Self. Here we go. A Southwest Airlines passenger is banned. Y'all can just look at these fucking <laughs> eyes. You can look at them eyes. Look at these fucking <laughs> eyes. Y'all can just look at these fucking eyes. Look at that shit. <laughs> All right. A Southwest Airlines uh, passenger is banned for life and facing federal charges after masturbating multiple times during his flight. <laughs> Going to say this again. Yeah, so y'all can see the eyes. I'm going to say this again. A Southwest Airlines passenger is banned for life and facing federal charges after masturbating multiple times during his flight. Wow. <laughs> multiple times? Oh, man. Yeah. How long was the fucking flight? <laughs> well, I'm glad you asked. On April 2nd, from Seattle to Washington to Phoenix, Arizona. So... So if we're talking Seattle to Washington. Seattle to Washington. Motherfucker, ain't that? Seattle is in Washington. <sighs> yes, it is. Motherfucker. So he, and he wasn't going to D.C. Seattle no. is in Washington. Yes. Uh-huh. So, okay. So maybe there was a look. They had a little layover. They had whatever. to have. Had a little layover. But that flight, that flight is at least, flight is at least maybe like four, four hours. To Phoenix? From like from Seattle to Phoenix, like yeah. yes, at least at least four hours, at least four hours, at least four hours, got to be at least. Uh huh. Oh man, you know. <sighs> do I want to press? Look, do I want to press this shit? But down? where, w- where was he? Okay. Because <laughs> if even if you're in the laboratory, as they call it on the plane, right? If you're in the laboratory, as they call it on the plane, you know, you you by mm-mm, yourself. Mm-mm. He wasn't. No, uh, he wasn't in the. Mm-mm. No, he was not in the bathroom. He was not in the laboratory. Mm-mm. 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 No, Mm-mm. he was sitting right there in his fucking seat. Okay, see, sitting right there in his fucking seat. And after masturbating for about an hour, <laughs> apparently, Mister McGarity tired himself out, <laughs> so, <laughs> so he he fell in, he fell into a slumber. <laughs> Ha <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, so you <laughs> you lost me at he <laughs> after he tired himself out. After masturbating, and he fell into a slumber. After masturbating for an hour, Mr. McGarity tired himself out. He fell into a slumber. <laughs> but wait, there's more. Yo, oh my God. Yo. Hold on. I gotta get back into the seat. There just Hold can't on. be more. This Hold is, on. Oh my Hold God. On. After a little Mr. McGaddy, when he fell asleep, <sighs> that's when a woman sitting next to him asked to be moved. After learning <laughs> the flight attendant of what happened. <laughs> reportedly, reportedly, she seen the man masturbated four times. <laughs> I'm gonna use my I'm use my bra right here. Not one. <laughs> not two. Not three. <laughs> Four, not four, four times. Four. <laughs> he masturbated four times, bro. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> no. No fucking wonder he was tired. <laughs> but wait. Four more. <laughs> There's more. Ah. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> he bought some old people. He bought some old people hard on pills. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> What's going on, bro? Hey. Oh. Hold on, bro. After. Oh, man. Hold on. He was arrested after they landed. After they landed in the Sky Harbor uh, International Airport in Phoenix. <laughs> he told authorities that he thought jerking off on the plane was kind of kinky. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Yo. Why are you saying it like that, though? <sighs> Hold on, because don't nobody use that fucking word. Nobody gotta, use that word. Look, look, so you got to put, you got to dramatize. You oh, dramatize. my God. Hey, he said he, he thought the jerking off was kind of kinky. It was kind of kinky. <laughs> what up, Neil? Yo, hold on. <laughs> so, so, so you masturbate on a fucking plane for four fucking hours. Four <laughs> times. Four hours. And knock yourself out. And so you put yourself to sleep. <laughs> put yourself to sleep. You put yourself to sleep. Now the question is, was it after they served snacks? See, <laughs> did you at least get your drink, right? Was it during when the drink was the the cart service was coming by? Oh. When did all this happen? Oh man! Now remember I told you. <laughs> remember I told you that the woman, the woman signal for boom, boom. <laughs> flight attendant, boom, <sighs> code ten, five. I need help. So after M Mr. McGarity knocked himself out, put himself to sleep, that's when she has to be moved to another seat. Now, according to him, oh, shit. According to him, he claims that he asked her permission before he began masturbating or, as they said, <laughs> demonstrating his self-care routine. <laughs> <laughs> Yo! <laughs> they call this shit, they call this shit his self-care. His self-care routine. First of all, okay, <laughs> what we're not going to do, right, what we're not going to do, okay, we are not going to slide over the fact <laughs> that he asked the lady next to him, right? We're not going to slide over that fact that he asked the lady next to him, right? Oh. Hey, <laughs> can I ask you a question? It's a, hold on. It's a witch. She allegedly said, it doesn't matter. <laughs> So he decided to fire up the rockets. <laughs> <laughs> you know how they give you a blanket? Did he yeah. at least <laughs> cover himself up with a blanket? Saw that blanket moving. That's right, like that's <laughs> right. Hold on, did he have a trade down? Did I say what I'm asking? So now you, you know, there's a lot going on. You hear now? You hear? <laughs> That's like ah, <laughs> focus that it was good. Yes, Jay. Oh, man. Yes. Yes. I be, he was courteous. And see, that's what I'm saying. Hey. That's hey. what I'm trying to say. Hey. No, fuck that. He was look, he was being courteous because he wanted her to join in. He like, wanted her help. He just <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen. 
Listen, it's a club. <laughs> it's a club, and it's exclusive. And I want my membership. And I want. And he I, really wanted on, his membership. Hold on, look at it. Can you lend a hand? Can you? <laughs> <laughs> you can be part of this club too. Oh my God, yo! I. You know, uh, there are some things that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, nah, they should look. They ain't shaking hands after. Look, don't, don't even fist bump me. So don't that's what I'm saying. So when the plane lands, <laughs> you know, how do you exit? You know, hold on. <laughs> you, no. you leave. No, hold on. It was right on time. You know when you wake up, they give you that hot towel? <laughs> 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 you that hot towel. <laughs> Thank you for flying so fast. <laughs> Yo, yo, Jay said, I don't think I'll ever unfold a tray again. <laughs> Cause listen, where did he put it? Yo, where? In that blanket. Where did it, where did it go? <laughs> in the blanket. Cause did he find like in the middle of it? Ah. Unless he caught it. Unless Doggy he, bag. What? Uh, <laughs> hey. Unless he caught it in his hand, all kids must be seated. It must be with a little, with a blanket. <laughs> Can you secure your children? <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Can you secure your child? Oh, oh secure my your God. children before the plane. Look at him. He looked tired. <laughs> he looked. He do it back. He looked tired. He looked tired. He got the wrinkles in his forehead. Oh shit! Oh my God! Oh. <laughs> Oh shit! Oh, yo, this is you know. Yes, sanitize your seats and wear your gloves. Like, okay, so hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, bro, hold on, hold on. I'm sorry, <laughs> hold on, hold on. How did I skip this part? How did I skip this part? There's more. Hold on. So the passenger that he allegedly asked, look, could look, 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 could he let his kids out for recess? She took pictures of the act. Say okay. <laughs> so now, so now, hold on. So now we look. We ten thousand feet up in the air, and it's a porno happening. It's this is being filmed for the o for for the only fans. <laughs> for the only fans. For the only for fans. the only fans. Uh huh. <laughs> it's gonna go viral. Oh man. Oh shit, lady, look, lady face. <laughs> He's shooting blanks. <laughs> <laughs> at four times, really. At four times. Hold on. Before he tied himself out, he looked at it, make sure I get a jacket coat. <laughs> <laughs> but wait, y'all, <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a damn minute. Hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a fucking minute. Oh, shit. Wait a fucking minute. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait. What happened, bro? Wait. What happened? Why? Why have none of us asked this question? <laughs> Why? Okay. How did he get away with one and two? <laughs> Four times? Oh. Four, Four times? times? <laughs> How did he get away with one and two? The first one was so quick. <laughs> like, just, I, he, he just, ah, I, ah, 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 boom. <laughs> like, hold on. How? Maybe, okay, maybe she thought, maybe she thought it was going to be one, okay, one time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> maybe, maybe she was like, "Okay, one time, you know, it, it shit gone." <laughs> oh, okay, it was just it's one time. It was just one okay. time. And right. He started. She was like, "Can you see the fucking thing?" <laughs> 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 Hold on, in that third time. This is the third. I that need third the third. Time. Oh hell no! I had a <laughs> boom, <laughs> boom. Oh hell! What the fuck? How was she taking the pictures? Was she looking at him? <laughs> is it clicking? Or was she sneaking? Was she doing the fake selfie? <laughs> That's what I want to know. <laughs> well, no, like, hey, y'all, y'all tell me. Was she doing the fake y'all. selfie? Was she doing the fake selfie? Or was she, look, 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 look was she just blaming out, just like pointing the camera at his ass? She had to be doing the fake selfie or just uh. or acting like she was on the phone or something. Like, she had to be doing that. Oh, what's going on, Mo? Had to be. Had to be. Oh, shit. B- bruh. But, that's what, but like, like, I mean, come on, man. Like, how do you, four times? Four F- times, four. right? And I know how my body works. Each time, it's gonna take a little longer. It, uh, it's gonna take a little that longer. Look, that look, that second, that second one is always longer than the it's first. It's always longer than the first one. And so, and then if he had a jack and coat, that's what I'm. St- <laughs> <laughs> and he's just going yeah, s- straight bare hand hand. Look, look, he at least made it to like from Seattle to uh 
He at least made it to look, Seattle to Cali on one of them shits. Hey, over from Sacramento to uh, San Francisco on one of them shits. What happened? <laughs> Jason. <laughs> I wonder if he elbowed her in the stomach or <laughs> or arm because you got to share one arm. <laughs> hey, <laughs> bruh. Hey, you do no, hey, no, no. She was leaning, she was leaning up against the window. So, she was, <laughs> so he was in the middle seat. <laughs> <laughs> That's even worse. Make it look at making both people uncomfortable. Make it both. <laughs> he done look, he done slide, he done slide down. <laughs> Spread his legs a little bit. He done open it. <laughs> <laughs> he done slides down and spread his legs a little bit. <laughs> Listen. He just took both arm rests. Hey. He just fell to get comfortable. Do you mind? <laughs> look, look, just you mind it. if I do this? You mind if I? <laughs> mind if I? You mind? If I, if I jack off a little bit? You mind? <laughs> How do you ask that with a straight face? Hey, you mind if I? Uh, oh my God! Look, look. Jack off a little bit. Uh, hold on, no, no, no. That's what it is. That's what it is. I forgot the fucking report. I forgot the fucking report. Do you mind? I, I have a, a self care routine that I normally do. <laughs> <laughs> Do you mind if I? <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. No, oh, you good? Oh, oh, okay. You cool? All right. You? You cool? Oh, man. Look, lady, so look. Self-care is essential. Hold on. Lady Faye said she, de- she definitely not allowing him in the, in her barber chair. I know <laughs> what he going to try. I know what he going to try to do in one of the <laughs> <laughs> Do up under that dad. She said up under the barber, uh, up under the barber cake. Heck yeah. You see that shit moving. You see that barber? <laughs> barber cake. Foom, 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 foom. See, <laughs> see that shit moving like a bird trying to get well, out, like the trying to get out the goddamn cage. Are you here? <laughs> 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 God damn it. <laughs> so, foo, 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 foo. <laughs> you, better, <laughs> you better tame Tweety. God damn you it. Be- <laughs> <laughs> Tweety up in there flapping like a bubble. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at that. So, Dude, oh, so shit. he looked at her. Look, I got a self care routine. Oh man. I normally do. Uh you mind? You mind? Of course she's gonna say, uh, No, nah, go ahead. She didn't know what the fuck it was. Don't even Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh man. Okay, my thing is, my thing is, my thing is, when she saw him unbuttoning his pants. Yeah, I mean, well, okay. Or did he have on the hold on, did he have on sweats? See, that's what see, that's what you gotta see. No nope. Uh uh-uh. uh. White people don't travel in sweats. They he be was, traveling in he jeans. Was, he was in a suit. He was <laughs> he was business casual. <laughs> he was smart casual. He was smart casual. <laughs> so, he, so he had he had on some he had on some khakis. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. See why they look why they tripping again? Oh. Why they tripping today? Yo, oh, IG, we were doing man. so good. Hang in there, IG. We still holding on right here, baby. I we know. still holding on. I know. We doing good, y'all. Hey, look, IG. Yeah. Oh 15 man. Fifteen seconds. I'll be back. But listen, hey, we still rocking on midweek and on yes. on, on uh, D Winston's page. Hey, if you're not, make sure you still check over to the Facebook. You can hear and see everything if you go to the Facebook, yes. y'all. Facebook un un unstop. Yeah, listen, I gotta tell you this. I gotta I gotta say this one. That one has got to be by far <laughs> top five midweek minutes, man. Yo yo, by far top five midweek minutes, man. Look, when I saw that by shit, by far. When I saw that shit, bro, by far. when I saw that shit, I was like, yes, I got to. That's by far, by far, by far. Yeah. Oh, my God, bro. All right. We need, what we rolling into next? We got to, we, we, we behind, but. <coughs> man, we, you know what it is, bro. We'll let's make look, it work. Let's go we'll ahead, do what we do. Let's go ahead and Lyric Lounge. Let's do this. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, if this is your first time joining us for Lyric Lounge, this is where I. Draper Winston, I get to choose a song and a voice. I get to choose a song and a voice and some sort of theatrical character, you know, and sometimes a surprise. I may sing the tune. We don't know. And Cobain doesn't know what it is that I'm going to say or do. All right. But he has to come back, give his uh, give his ebonical interpretation. But he has to give it in bars. All right. Bang. Bang, you already bang. know what it is. You know what it is, all right? So he had to give it in bars, is that's what he has to do, okay? Oh, shit. So I figured, <sighs> what the hell is so much going on, I needed, all right? I needed that fucking laugh today, bro. That one was amazing. <laughs> that one was amazing. That one doesn't get any better than this, all right? It's a little kinky. 
So, <laughs> <laughs> shit. God damn. It was great. I got to get on a flight in about <laughs> three and a half hours. I got to get on a flight in about three and a half hours. And so I got to look at. <laughs> you looking at my phone. You, be, you, you goddamn, you better not. Who? Where you finna sit? Where you goddamn? <laughs> Let me see your goddamn hands. Where your hands? <laughs> Let me see where your goddamn hands is. Put all right. Your, put your hands on the back of the seat. Shit. Leave them there. <laughs> Ma'am, I will call the motherfucker. Ma'am. Oh shit. And point right. <laughs> ben, I ain't scratch your fucking leg. You don't give shit. You ch- you cold or you? Hold on. All right. So <laughs> this is where I give you my voice. And so this song. I decided to take a little different spin on this one. All right. Now, if you know these lyrics, you are more than welcome to sing along. All right. Because this one (laughs) is a classic. All right. This one is a classic. Okay. And the reason why I chose this one is because there are three people that are involved. Oh, shit. In this. All right. So if you know the song. Feel free to jump into the comments or sing along at wherever you are. All right? Here we go. This week's Lyric Lounge is brought to you by none other than the man himself. Not him, (laughs) but him. Oh, fuck. I knew that's where you were going. Nobody but him. All right? So you're more than welcome to sing along. Here we go. Oh, shit. <laughs> what the hell is going on <laughs> between my sheets and my home? Baby, wait, let me explain <laughs> before you start to point your cane. Girl, I'm about to have a fit. Boy, it's about to be some shit. <laughs> How did I get into this? Should have never came home with this bitch. Roll on down, dirty woman, back to where you come from. But baby, wait, <laughs> but wait, my ass. Hit the streets. Your oh ass is grass. <laughs> Wait, Mr. Biggs, before you do. Wait, how you know my name, son? <laughs> Honey, wait, I was going to tell you. Moo, this cat looks real familiar. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite part. <laughs> That's my favorite part. <laughs> now, don't, don't I know you from somewhere a long time ago? No, no, I don't think so. Yeah, yeah. Bill, oh, I shit. know you, brother, very well. No, no, you're mistaking <laughs> me for somebody else. Frank, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> Can't you see two men are talking? What? what? Oh, I told your ass to get to walking. Oh, shit. Now, I bet you better leave this place. <laughs> or oh, I'm about to catch a case. Your contagion. Touch me, lady. Give me what you got. Emotional damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Feel me, baby. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, bro. Yeah, so there's nothing like, I think everybody, when that part comes on, like the rest of it, you know, the rest of it is, is great, you know, but when that is something about that verse. Oh, shit. When that verse comes on, right? Uh. When Ronald Isaac jumps in, what the hell is going on in these sheets between my homes? Hold on. You ain't look, look. Shante Moore, look, she put a little, she put a little jazz on the end of that shit. When, <laughs> when he was like, when she was like, Frank, shut, shut up. up. Stop being with me. She was like, what? what? <laughs> <laughs> she t- <laughs> She got real jazzy with that one note. What? <laughs> no, I. And then R. Kelly dumbass, right? So he lay, if you see the video, right? Mm-hmm. His dumbass is picking up his clothes. When he come out of nowhere, just out of left field, you don't even see him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> this is the way it was. Like, what did I just say? Hold on. Oh, he, he come out of nowhere. Oh, it's about to <laughs> be some <laughs> shit. Like, Nigga putting on his shoes, bro. How did I get into this? Should have never came home with this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's why you go to a fucking hotel. Oh, man. That was, man, that was, 
that's probably oh, you know shit. one of the one of the best. You know, that's when he turned into Mr. Biggs. He wasn't our Ronald Eisen no more. He turned into Mr. Biggs. Mm. So that is this week's Lyric Lounge. Mm. From none other than Ronald Isley, Mr. Biggs. Mm. La da da da. La da da da. La da 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 da. All right, people. <laughs> All right. You already know when you hear that. You already <laughs> know when you hear that. Bang. God bang, damn. Bang. Give you your mix. Give you your mix. I already know what time it is. <coughs> Woo! <laughs> All right. I said. <laughs> I used to run in and out the house. Mm. And my grandma, she, my grandma used to always say, what the fuck? You know, I grew up and learned the game with these women, I often double dutch. Mm. You know, throwing rocks at the ground, mm-hmm. skipping over blocks. Yeah. <coughs> you know, little nigga not running from the cops. <laughs> but we always used to go to the monkey bars. Mm. I used to let her swing. You know, Mary go around. You know, she loves to do these freaky things. Bars. <laughs> bars. Oh, Talk man. to him. Talk to him, Cole. Bars. But sooner or later, I had to graduate. <coughs> you know, 10,000 10, feet in the air. Mm. You know? Mm. A famous song told me, wave my hands <laughs> like I just don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Somebody get him. <laughs> get him. But please, please don't stop this flight because I would love to attend. You know, I was hoping she would help me out. Mm. You know, four rounds, we become friends. <laughs> <laughs> but you had to snap pics oh. and call them laws on me. <laughs> If it was that fucking serious, how'd you let me get past three? Huh, God damn. <laughs> Please tell me. All I wanted you to do was just let me know <laughs> when the fucking when the fucking snacks came. But here I am. You know? You heard the snacks when I came. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> that's right. Th- that's right, Jay. <laughs> Don DeMarco, yes. <laughs> Dom DeMarco. My bad. My <laughs> my That's bad. right, Jay. She literally <laughs> come in, Dom DeMarco. I see you, Jay. Heck yeah. <laughs> oh, man. You know, but you had to call a marshal, you know, even before the door opened. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody was harmed. I mean, you know, my third leg was choking. <laughs> <laughs> But it takes me back. Oh. It takes me back to red light, green light. <laughs> Y'all already know what this is. Oh, man. Just know. Just know the level of pervert. We may grow old, but we never stop playing with kids. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> bang, bang. Oh, my gosh. I'm getting bang. fucking. Oh, my gosh. I'm getting okay, fucking. wait. <laughs> 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 What's going on, man? What's going on? <laughs> okay. What's you going really, on? You really, you man. <laughs> yeah. Y'all, hey. So you just, really? Yeah. Really? So d- I don't know if y'all caught that shit. <laughs> we, never mind. We too old. We ain't never old. We still playing with kids. Y'all, yeah. y- y'all know what comes <laughs> to, y'all know what, what she said. <laughs> Jay had to. <laughs> I can, her comment says, oh, but I hear, oh, <laughs> <laughs> come on, Jay, come yeah. on. Jay's like, oh, CJ, CJ, yes. CJ you got to you gotta catch the setup. You got to yeah, catch the setup. Yeah. So, I took, look, so I took you through a hot summer day. Yeah. We go, from, we go from my grandmother telling me not to run out in and out the house to go outside and play, <laughs> you know? So we went from neighborhood to neighborhood. Finding who was the greatest competition. 
Oh, man, just say we play high and go get it. For this, I don't need no partition. Because <laughs> we locked in the closet, not trapped like Kells. <laughs> Y'all just wait till I figure that lyric loud, oh, y'all. Boy, I do trapped in the closet, R. Kelly. We do, we gonna do trapped in the closet, R. Kelly. You just wait till I figure that one out. Look, oh man, oh, <laughs> so we like look, look, so <laughs> so we locked in the closet, not trapped like Kells. <coughs> you know. We would say we keep secrets. <sighs> we move through classes because I run her bed. <laughs> Chad, what's going on? <laughs> he <Yeah>. looked at her. <laughs> <laughs> she looked at him. <laughs> he looked at her. Oh, she man. looked at him. <laughs> but go a little bit. Going back. Going back to that. Going back to that last line. Going back to that last line. You know. May move on. May move on. You already know what it is. But we may we may grow older. <laughs> but we still love playing with kids. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, if look, if y'all haven't fucking noticed by now, y'all gonna get all these fucking sex references in all the fucking bars that I spit. Yeah, them bars was there. That bar was there. You know. Look, look, that bar was there. Matter, look, matter of fact, I'm going to have to go back and play this shit afterwards. That I'm bar was fucking there. I'm going to have to use some of this shit. I'm going to be sitting there. I'm gonna, When I go back and listen to the replay, I'm going to be <laughs> fucking crying laughing. Oh, my God, bro. Listen to that. That was, yeah. So between your midweek minute and your bars, <laughs> man, like you, okay. You know what? You know what? And to, look, today's okay. the SAT word. Today's the epitome of, today's the epitome of when they say, when they say something like sometimes, sometimes going to the gym, you just don't have it that day. You just don't want to work yep. out, but it'd be your birth, your best fucking workout yeah, ever. Boy. Well, today life was lifing. Life was lifing. Life was lifing, and I did look. I was like, you know what? I don't know where I'm gonna muster this shit from today. <laughs> look, hey, but y'all, look, y'all got that. Y'all got that shit today. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Give yourself a round of applause, brother. You, you gave Not, it. You know, look. Yeah. I don't look. I don't, I don't, look, you get the round of applause. I get the. Give it, give it to him. <laughs> give it to him, bro. Oh man, Chad, look, we love you too. We miss, look, we've been missing you. I know you've been busy down there, you know, <laughs> on the border. Jay said you did a little sign language too, arm. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Had to. Had to. Had to get him, you know, because that look, because after the first, honestly, honestly, why you're doing like you know your portion of lyric lounge sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes I'm I'm doing that, you know, that diggy that Jay shit. I'm coming up with lyrics in my fucking head, yeah. bars and shit. But today, you didn't need them. I, look, I didn't know what the fuck you I was gonna say until after you, yeah, you know. You just, you just made it happen, brother. There you go. Yeah. Uh, look, I knew it was some, look at some point, I was gonna have some reference to kids. Because <laughs> I don't know if y'all if y'all missed. Listen, if y'all missed. Oh shit. If y'all missed the midweek minute, if you just now tuning in, if you just if you missed the midweek minute, okay. Yes. Let them motherfucking look. Yes. I, if you missed the midweek minute, you have got. To, go, to back. go back and listen to the replay. Chad. And then after you listen to the replay, listen to Cobain's bars. And then <laughs> you, you will understand you all understand. the reference. You'll understand the reference. Yo, the midweek minute. That that shit. Yes. Look, and I got look, I got another one in the fold for next week. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Part two. Oh fucking boy. All right. I look, and that look, normally we would go to the what the fuck moment right now, but it's a new fucking segment. Yeah, yeah. It's called Emotional damage. <laughs> no, it's not really called emotional damage, but <coughs> <laughs> it's called Twitter thoughts. <laughs> Twitter thoughts. Oh, let's jump into Twitter thoughts, y'all. Now, oh, most of this shit. shit is turning into emotional damage. So, this is what I'm going to do for all y'all that's on the midweek. I'm going to turn it so that you can see the actual, all right? So, this is where I, where I come up with a, I find a topic that's going on on Twitter, and then I do what everybody does. Check the fucking comments, yeah, all right? Look, look. You got to check the fucking comments, okay? You have to. Because that's where everything resides at is in the comments. Yes. All right? So this week, there's a known restaurant down in H-Town, Texas. All right? There's a known restaurant in H-Town, Texas that has totally flipped the script <laughs> on what's going on, right? Oh, hell. 
they already started to lose customers because they instilled a dress code, right? They instilled a dress code, and this is why customers were upset, because the dress code was for a restaurant that sits outside under tents, okay? <laughs> a dress code for a restaurant that sits outside under tents, okay? Oh, hell. Now, let's jump right into it. Now, Turkey Leg Hut, Oh. Fuck. all right? Turkey Leg Hut has released a statement saying that you will, for you to be able to come to their restaurant, you have to make a reservation, and, and with your reservation, you have to put down a $100 deposit, non-refundable. The fuck? All right, a non-refundable deposit, and then your reservation <laughs> is first come, first served. <laughs> all right, your reservation. Oh, yeah. All right, hit the hit the wait. There's more. Hit the wait. There's more. But wait, there's more. The fuck is? Check this out. <coughs> Not only is your ref- is your is your deposit on, non refundable. That motherfucker say via cash app. Via cash app. All right. No via cash app. <laughs> All right. Via cash app. Okay, is what they say. You got to send it in. Via Cash App, okay? And your deposit must be received 5 p.m. before or your reservation will not be held, all right? Now, here's the deal. Let's say anything happens to your reservation and it's not refunded. It can be applied to a to-go order or you have to wait a calendar year and you don't know when you're going to get your your reservation, okay? So this is Turkey Leg Hut down in in Houston, Texas, all right? Now, they're known for their, their ginormous paws. They're known, yes, for a turkey leg. They're known for their, you know, uh, turkey legs and all that stuff like that and their size, right? Their their staple pieces are the the turkey legs. Yeah, the stuffed turkey legs. The stuffed turkey legs, Mm -hmm. okay? Well, you got to put down a $100 deposit and it's non-refundable, okay? And it's non-refundable and this is for a table of two. What the fuck? All right. Well, I mean. A table of two. Swin City. (laughs) Swin City, what up? What's going on, Swin? Check it, like, like, just pause for the call. Swin City has, like, the high school all-star games going like going yes. on this weekend. Yes. In Cedar Hill, Texas, In I Cedar believe. Hill, Texas. Yes, it is. Trinity Academy, I believe, is the yes. name of it. Yes. Yep. Game started 2 p.m. Yo, all of the top yes. prospects that we, look, look, we were talking about earlier, you know, DFW being the Mecca, be in the fucking building. You will see all of them. Plus, you will see some, you know, some old greats. You yes. know, like Emmanuel Moody. Yes. You like yes. Uh, Isaiah Hunt, Austin. Isaiah Austin. Uh, yep. Tiffany Jackson. Yeah. It's girls know, and boys. Girls and boys. You know. Girls Marat, and boys. Marat the Jefferson. Yeah. Yeah. All, yeah. all of them. You will see all, all of them in the building. All, all right. Go to Swin City League. Go to uh. No, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna send you to Tony like Tony's uh, uh, personal page. Don't say Tony's personal page. No, 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 no. Get us but in trouble with go Tony. To Swin, go to Swin City. Go to Swin City. See y'all in the fucking building this weekend. Midweek we'll be there. Boom. All right. So. And here's the last thing, right? The deposit had the, the deposit will go towards your food and drinks, Man. okay? And you must <laughs> they're saying you must spend the entire one hundred dollars. Okay. Now, granted, per turkey leg, they're roughly anywhere between twenty five to forty five dollars. Yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. Per turkey leg. Yeah. Depending on which one you get. I've heard there's the boudin turkey leg, there's the fettuccine Alfredo turkey leg. They have a lot of uh, a lot of different selections of the yeah. turkey leg. I'm, yeah, yeah. I've had the one with the dirty rice. You know. Really? Yeah, okay. So yeah, I've yeah. never been there, right? Yeah. But Twitter <laughs> has gone mad. Come on, Black Twitter. All right. Black Twitter has gone mad, and they are letting them fucking know what the deal is. All right? So here's the first one that popped up that I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> this one comes from SR Birds. <laughs> All right, this one comes from SR Burris. She says, Do you get a wash and dry set or no? Because this sounds like a securing an apartment. <laughs> they still wilding, I see. <laughs> oh my God, yo. <laughs> no, ser- seriously, bro. Yeah, yeah. So this was, this was the next one. All right. <laughs> <laughs> the same turkey leg hut. That has a dress code for people who wait 45 hours in the sun to sit <laughs> under a tent? <laughs> yeah, wh- what's the dress code? So, apparently, you can't wear. So, if we were to go like this, we couldn't get in. We couldn't get in. You have to damn near be in a suit. What you would wear to, let's say, here in Dallas to maybe a True Lux or something like that. What's up, Bo? 
so like a true lux or something like that you would uh, you have to be um or a um uh nick and sam's that you have to wear a, a sports coat or some shit like that that was what their dress code hey, was like hey y'all follow look follow me we going down to the h we're gonna get a smoker we're gonna be right out on the street put that bitch right, <laughs> right on the fucking street <laughs> We're going to put that bitch right on the goddamn street. We'll have a block party by Turkey Leg Hut. You know what? Look, hey, I'm going to open your turkey leg up. We're going to put some dirty rice. <laughs> We're going to put some Alfredo sauce on that it's motherfucker. Some Alfredo sauce. You know? I'll, I'll throw some shrimp on top. There you go. <laughs> and this is the one that took me, oh, shit. took me out, and I had a good time laughing at this one. All right? This was my favorite one. This one comes from Soul Seeker. Need feed me nachos. <laughs> Food always has me dying in the toilet later on anyway. So this is even more reason not to go anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, okay. So this like so this is this is another look, this is another classic oh case. Oh man. To me, like this is another classic case. Oh, like and you know, we used to talk about this shit about parties that were thrown here in Dallas or whatever, how yeah. the clubs opened up and at first it's like, all right, you know, for fellas, no ball caps, no oh, jerseys, yeah. no not like no tees. Oh, they had to yeah. be buttoned down, it had to be jeans, had to be hard bottoms, all this shit. Pause. Pause. And then three months after that shit, on my, on my bad, that like the age limit was like twenty one and up at the least. Yes, twenty one. Some of them, some of them were twenty five. Twenty five. But some it was twenty five. But it was it was twenty one and up. Three months later, age limit eighteen and up. You see motherfuckers walking around with X's on their hand. X's on their they hand. Can't drink. Shit. I look. Hold on. I see. <laughs> hold on. I see. Look. I see motherfuckers. I see motherfuckers in the old ass Dirk jersey. <laughs> <laughs> But that shit peeling up on the phone. <laughs> shit peeling on the phone. You know, they sag it, look sagging they Jabo jeans and shit. Got the got the you know remember them belts? You remember them belts that had like the screen on it? Uh-huh. And they would type in whatever their nickname uh-huh. was and it would come across yeah. and like highlighted letters or some shit like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Y'all doing the synchronized dance and shit. That's what look this, <laughs> That's that, where the fucking TikTok dance. Yes, this is what like this is what this seems like to me. Turkey leg hut has been killing that shit. Like every yeah. every time I go to the H or whatever, the line look you line drive long, you right. drive down that street like the line is around the fucking corner. Right. Or whatever that. That's why I look. I would tell people to go at night. Go late at night. Well, later on. Later on yeah. at night or whatever that. The line ain't too long. You can get in and do like do what you got to do. Whether right. it's get it to go order or sit out on the patio. But now these motherfuckers, you killing the shit. Yeah, you are. I don't know if like they like they're opening up other businesses or whatever like that. And now you want to turn them motherfucking to. They trying to turn it from the sound of it, right? The sound of it sounds like they're trying to turn it into you know an upscale type of thing, kind of what true true kitchen is, you know, not as far as the dress code, but kind of the 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 amb- ambiance or whatnot. But charging or trying to upscale it. By making people make reservations. The majority of your fucking patrons are outside. Right. Exactly. 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 And so and so the businessman in me, I wonder, I wonder, uh, what up, daddy? What's up, man? So the businessman in me, I wonder, it, have they ran into the issue of this? Okay. Ran into the issue of people placing orders. All right, people placing orders. Some people may not be knowing how much the turkey leg is. They thinking, "Oh, I'm finna pay twenty dollars for a turkey leg," or or all that. And then they get up there, and then they make it a order. People leave, or the line's too long, or what? I don't know. Well, I, I don't. I don't know. There has to be a reason. I well, think. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. As far as that goes, no, because the turkey, like the turkey legs, they smoke them and have them ready, like already. Yeah, so they just so add everything else, right? Yeah, so they just, you know, yeah, they just add anything. And, and it's like, and they sell, like, they sell hundreds. Yes. Hundreds a, a day. A, a day. So if they look, so if you come up, if you come up or whatever, and that look, and I don't, look, I don't say that because obviously you can look online. You can look online like a lot of people do. So if I say, we've never been, like, never been there before, blah, 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 and I say, all right, we're going to Turkey Leg Hut. You're going to go on, look, you're going to go on the, uh, Google Maps or whatever, like, online right. on Yelp and look up the fucking menu. Right. So you're going to see. How much the goddamn turkey legs cost, that yeah. the other? And my thing is, okay, if you look, if you order the fucking turkey legs and you saw the shit you didn't want it, like after that you saw the price, ooh, ooh, shit, forty, okay, all right, it's the Alfredo one. I'm pretty <laughs> sure somebody else ordered the fucking Alfredo one at that same goddamn time. Pretty much. 
Box that motherfucker on up. Box it up. Like heat lamp that bitch and, and get on keep out it pushing. Get on out the fucking door, bro. Yeah, so I mean. But it, I it, sound, but it sounds like to me, it sounds like to me, you know, they've gotten a little, you know, as your, as your grandparents say, you got a little riffraff in there. Yeah. And they're trying to. But you're already years into the fucking game with that. Yeah, and then you also have a very loyal fan base, too. Yes. So if you start adding, you already added the dress code. So you added the dress code for people sitting outside in a tent, right? So you added the dress code. And so when you add the dress code, you now you're adding, you added the dress code, and now only did you add the dress code. Now you're adding a $100 reservation, a non-refundable deposit, okay? Mm-hmm. A non-refundable deposit. I really feel like they're going to have more issues. Oh, hell yeah. With re- returning the nine refundable deposit, TT, give me a check. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna have more problems getting the nine refundable yeah, deposit yeah, than yeah. anything. I, I know this, boo boo. <laughs> I better have my money by the time I leave this bitch, or I'm burning this motherfucker down for sure this time. God damn it. Right, you y'all got my cash y'all, out. Hold on. Y'all thought them motherfuckers came last time <laughs> to try to ruin y'all shit. I'm gonna burn this motherfucker down if I don't get my if I don't get my hundred dollars. I know that much. <laughs> Look, I spent $38 in this bitch. <laughs> Tip her 20 and then give me the rest of my change back. That's what I want, that down. Yo, look, no, but yeah. You can't, you fucking can. You can't do that. You can't, you can't do that. Not if a, even if steakhouses don't do that, if a steakhouse doesn't do that. Not at right? all. And, and they have quality food. Not to say that Turkey Hit Leg Hut doesn't have quality, it's quality food. It's quality. It's quality. But we're talking about exquisite, expensive cuts. Whatever the fuck makes steak exquisite. Just never quite figured that shit out. But <laughs> <laughs> whatever <laughs> makes it so, you know, good or whatever, the fine dining experience. My nigga, we sitting up on the tents. Uh, tents. We up on the tents. Hold on. And ain't look. What do look what In do Houston, look. humidity heat? Yes. Hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. Look with these little. They got these little ass fans up in the corner of the shit. So look, you ain't look. You ain't getting no. Uh, you ain't get no real air, besides the air that's you know that's hitting you know, that, that that mother that mother nature that mother nature sending it through yeah whatever. Back. So yes, you're sitting up on the tents, bro, outside, and they and they want like a certain like a certain dress code to come like to come up in that bad boy and a, a hundred dollar deposit. A hundred dollar deposit. <sighs> Hold on. Not on the fucking website. Not on the fucking website. No, sir. Not on Cash App. On Cash App. Yeah. On Cash App. Cash App me a hundred dollars. Cash App me a hundred dollars. A hundred. And they put the Cash App tag <laughs> on that bitch too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Some I saw one more. I couldn't. I, I only wanted to limit it to three. They said it looks like a turkey leg hut pyramid scheme. That's what the fuck it looked like. Yeah. Seriously, a hundred dollars. A hundred dollars. A hundred dollars. And think about. It. Think about how many times that you've made a reservation at a restaurant and you've changed your mind. But hold on, bro. Hold on, hold on. In which a lot of people do this shit. Mm-hmm. If I look, if I just want to, you know, matter of fact, like, you know, it's been a minute since I've been there, but they were like, they were, they were door dashing. They were, you know, all yeah. the, gr- like, you know, whatever, what, what is the shit? What Uber Eats? Yep. All, like, they were all of that shit. If I look, if I'm if I'm just getting food for myself and I want to come in and just grab right. me a turkey leg yes. or some of the catfish or the red beans yes. or whatever it is, just solely by myself and to get the shit, I got to do a, a fucking hundred dollars. So deposit. now, so now are you uh, are you telling me I, I do this hundred dollar deposit whatever like that and only use thirty eight or whatever or whatever it is? So you gonna you gonna hold the shit? You gonna hold my sixty two dollars? I got a balance. <laughs> like a, like a do fucking, my balance roll over? Like or, it's a or, lot of questions. Or now. Just because I want to eat at your establishment and mm-hmm. get some food solely for myself, yep. I got to spend a hundred dollars. Uh, yep, that's what they saying. Yeah. All right. Yep. So I'm so sure it'll change. Oh, oh hell yeah, it'll change. Oh, it's gonna change. <laughs> what it? Look, what it? What is it? I think it was Larry back in. It was Larry Fishburne back in Boys in the Hood. We talking to Trey. You gonna learn? Oh yeah, you gonna learn. He said that shit quick as he fuck. Sure he sure did. He didn't give him a chance he didn't give to respond. A second. <laughs> he didn't give him a chance at fucking all. Fo- look, Focus 88. Yes, bro. Yes. A, a fucking $100 yeah. deposit through Cash App. Through Cash and App. And you got to spend the fucking $100 whenever you get like whenever you get there. Yep. Fuck out of here. 
Yeah. Well, Turkey Leg Hut, we'll see how that works out for you. We'll check back on you guys. It's okay. We got Turkey Dam up here in Dallas. We do. <laughs> you can just walk in that motherfucking seat, get seated. Exactly. You know, and the turkey legs are good. They really are. You know, we're not being paid for this ad right now. <laughs> <laughs> At all. You know? At all. But shout out a little bit. Shout out. Shout out because it is. It is a Bacardi Dallas location. It is. All right. So, <coughs> all right, people. We're going to need y'all assistance on this shit. Yeah. We've got to touch on this subject. Got to touch it. on We got to talk about this before we get out of here. We got to talk about this. Got to talk about it. Got to talk about it. And obviously, you know, there's been a lot of things swirling, you know, around the around the news feeds lately. Yeah. And one in particular is the fact that what's the name? Um, I forgot the guy's name. Um, but Channing. Channing. Yeah. Channing. Channing Crowder. Channing, Channing Crowder. Crowder. Channing Crowder, ex NFL player. Um, that's on um um yeah. I am athlete. I am athlete, yeah. You know. Actually he's not on I am athlete anymore. Like both apart, <laughs> yeah. So that's um, there's a new dude in there, Ryan. Yeah, Ryan. No, Ryan. Not not that. No, yeah, yeah, that's something totally different. <laughs> we'll we'll dive into that like oh, later on because that because that shit is you know when you don't have your paperwork in order, you don't Uh-oh. have business in order, and, <laughs> and people like after a certain you know mm-hmm. point start to have different difference of opinions and want to go different ways about the cat. There you go. All right, but so Channing. I don't like he's he said it before whatever like that but he uh, but he keeps saying it came like came up yeah. again and it's gone like truly viral this time true viral where he said if Russell Wilson <laughs> didn't have money <laughs> Sierra wouldn't be with him he's a fucking square he's a fucking he's a square. fucking square said he's a square he said he's a square he said of all people of all people he said Russell Wilson was a square. And then he took it a step further. He was like, think about this. Sierra left Future. She left Future. Yeah. Future. 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 Yeah. For Russell Wilson. She left the black women that we have. Oh, boy. They start going to fuck in. Boy, y'all had a field day. Women in general had a field day with this headline. I mean, had a field day. Had a field day. With this headline of Russell Wilson being labeled a cornball. And saying that she only chose him because of money. Yeah. All right. She only chose him because of money. All right. So now here's a few things, a couple things. My take on it. I get my my quick hot take on it. All right. So in Sierra's defense, all right, um, Navidius, future, if you will. <laughs> For all y'all that didn't know his real name, Navidius. <laughs> I thought, we, I thought we were reading books of the Bible. The books of the Bible, yeah, in the second chapter of Navidius. <laughs> all right, <laughs> chapter three, toxicity. All right, now, oh, shit. There was a lot that came with Navidius, okay? There was a lot. Oh, man. That came with Navidius, okay? His lifestyle, <laughs> you know, the, the, the his profession. Yeah. He's a professional rapper. Yeah. He's in the music industry, a lot uh-huh. of clubs, club dates, yeah. tours. A lot of groupies. Kay. Groupies. Um, he, his, his number of children is kind of high. Yeah. All right. <laughs> and so, um, she has one child by him. Yeah. Uh, baby future. Yeah. Right. And so there was a lot that came with that. Right. Keep standing in front of Russell. <laughs> That's right. That, that's a whole nother story, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's another story. Yes, Jay. That's a black name. Yes. Yeah. Navidius is his name. Yeah. And so <laughs> for whatever reason... <laughs> <laughs> she says, that, oh, that's that's a black name. Yes, that's a black yeah, name. Yeah. My man Navidius, right? Mm-hmm. Now, don't get me wrong. Navidius has done wonders for the culture. Yeah. Has done wonders for the culture. But however, we all know that there's sometimes there are relationships that we just must get out of. Yes. All right. They're not healthy. Toxic as fuck. Toxic as fuck. They're not healthy for us and, and at all. Nah. And I think she just she wanted something better. She wanted something for her. She wanted her morals, her standards. She wanted something better. What they say is, right? what, what's the saying? Right. In order to get what you don't have, you got to do what you. Right. You know? And she, and she, she made a switch. Now, would anybody have figured that it would have been Russell Wilson? No. No. Because at the time, now let's not, let's not put this past Russell. 
Russell was wearing New Balance's jeans and Hawaiian shirts. Go Hawks. Okay. <laughs> right? Go Hawks. Go Hawks. Right? <laughs> and, you know, ah. he Russell Russell wasn't always just the coolest guy. No. Okay? You know, Sierra was like, this shit ain't going to work, bro. This shit ain't going to work. <laughs> right? But, however, however, Sierra said, that's my man. I'm going to stick beside him. I'm going to stick beside him. <laughs> But uh, look, I'm gonna stand beside him. But I want to look. But I want to say this: just because, and this is coming. This is coming from somebody who, like, I've been, I've been called, I've been called a weird, I've been called a weirdo, a mi- Me like too. many times. Yeah, you know, by look, like by my circle, by you know, women that I've dated, like all that shit. And look, I look, I take, I take, bri- I take pride being, you know, the odd, like the odd went out of the group, or yeah. you know, yeah, I get it. You know, the one, like the one that. The one that's totally left when everybody's right, yeah, or right down the middle. You know, I take pride in it, but that right. does not mean that does not mean that somebody doesn't have you know a little, little, a little street, a little street to him, a little swag, Just, man. Little, you know, all that shit. Listen, because this new Russell, ah, uh, this new Russell, this look, new Russell is cool than motherfucker. Listen, and I look, I you know, and I when I saw like when I saw this shit today, I had like had to play this fucking clip. You man, know, to, let's do to, it. Had to pull this fucking clip. Look, if y'all not on the Facebook shit, I mean, y'all can catch it. Yeah, you know, catch, the catch the replay if you ha- if you're not on the Facebook. But yeah, play the clip, man. You want to know the line that in your mind that made you made you bad, Sierra? What was the line that got her to go out on a date with you? Mm. Well, uh, first uh, first of all, shit. You know, I had this Come wallet. On, now, I had this wallet. I had this wallet. It was it was broke. It was broke down. It was like kind of tore up. Yep, you know, yep, I had, yep. had it for a while. I was single at the time. You know, I was running around. Single and I had I had this wallet was tore up so I could you know we first day we met and we had been talking for two and a half hours you know hanging out whatever and, and she saw the uh, wallet sitting on the table she said what the hell is that <laughs> she said what the hell is that I, I said what? what are you talking about she said that wallet what, 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 you losing with that I said I put my finger I said first of all with me you never lose oh I said second of all second of all I said that's what I said that that wallet that shows consistency. So it's consistency. That's what you're going to get from me. Wow. You're going to get somebody who's going to be yeah. consistent for you every day. Mm-hmm. See, that's what and I'm saying. So, uh, Even that. when your yeah. shit old and broke down. That's it. That's that's it. Like, listen. See. Listen, bro. And look, look for those of y'all that you did not. Dude. Yes, for those of y'all who did not hear the, the, hear the clip or see the clip or, or y'all haven't seen it circulating around, whatever like that, Russell Wilson was asked, what was the line or what did you say to bag Sierra, you know? What did you say to bag her to get her to you know to like to you know to buy in this and the other? Yeah. He said that on their first date or the first you know time you know meeting up or whatever that they were talking for two and a, like they were conversating for two and a half, two and a half hours, and so Sierra looked over and saw like you know saw his wallet. He said yeah. that his wallet was old, it was beat up, this and the other. He said you know he was single, he was still carrying around his old wallet, mm-hmm. you know whatever the case may be. And she was like, "What is that?" And he was like, "What do you mean?" And she was like. What is that like? This, you know, this old basis, old last wallet, this, that, and the other, blah, blah, blah. She was like, you know, that's not like that's not winning. And then he turned around. He said, he said, wait, let's get this straight. He said, you're always winning if you're with me. Woo. That's number one. Speak it, Russ. He said, you're always winning if you're with me. And he said, two. He said, see. He said, that old wallet. The old wallet represents consistency. He said, you're gonna get that every day. When you with me? Oh man! Now look. Oh man! Yes. Speak may, it, Russ. May call him a fucking square. May call him a cornball. This any other? But those two lines. Those two lines got her goodies. Come on, her goodies. Come on, man. Listen, <laughs> say, come on, man. Yo. Why are we not giving this dude props, man? Hey, like this dude, ba- Sierra. Sierra. But but take the uh, but Come take on. but take it a step take it a step further, bro. Take it a step further. There have been a lot of women who you know been posting this and then they've been putting the caption above it or whatever, whether it's on Twitter or, or, or IG talking about talking about I'll take this look I'll take this level of corny every day of the week. Oh, oh look, oh, hey, oh, look, oh. Hey, look they've been going the fuck in. If this is look if this is what we calling corny, I'll look I'll gladly take this. Oh, these women. Oh. <laughs> These babies have took a hold of this, hey. and they have said, "Oh, so this is what we calling corny?" Hey, we talking about a Super Bowl champion, right? Who just signed another multi-million dollar deal? Yeah, right. Coming off a multi-million dollar deal, 
all right? Yeah. That it will never not have money. Never. Right? And, and you can't say this. You will never, not ever be able to say this about Russell Wilson. Russell Wilson loved him some fucking Sierra. Let's take look, let's take it on top of that. Hold he on. loved that. He Hold loved on. that little winding on top of the car. Good. Look, the mu- look, the, the amount, look, the amount of love and respect, whatever. He's in the he's in a profession. Oh, or in, or in a realm where it's thrown at you. Oh, it is, and we can oh. we can have a whole episode. I'm not no. no They're no. not ready for that no, no, episode. No, 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 I'm not, no, no. I'm not gonna get no fucking secrets. Don't you do it. I'm not. But he's he's being tempted. He look as look as as the Christian said, the devout Christian said. You know, he's walking through the uh, valley of the shadow of death. Oh, man. Every fucking second. Every day, every second. And every second. Hold on. He, look, look, he pumped, like, he pumps up his wife, even though oh. he, look, even though, look, he ain't got a fucking dancer bone in his fucking body. He's, on her, he's on her TikTok or whatever. Hold on. You took in another man's child. Man. And and caring for the child like, like, like yours. Like you look, you look, you love your family. You, you love play, your you family. Spend, you you spend as much time with your family with as, your as possible. With your wife, y'all go to games and shit. Y'all doing all these types of shit, right? I remember vi- I saw a video. It was it was like it was some sort of musical war show. Yeah. Right. It was some sort of musical war show. They're walking the red carpet. They're taking pictures. They stop and take pictures. Russell steps back. Yeah. And he's like, "Go ahead, baby. You know, this ain't, this ain't about me. This ain't about me. This." I'm a football player. This ain't about me. This ain't about me. You know, the nigga voice done changed. Ready, 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 you fox trout, two, two ninety five. Like, listen. X, X, eagle, X, X. Like, when y'all get a chance, y'all need to go and listen to the, he's like, you know, so. <laughs> <laughs> nigga had the little laughs in he there. Did. He's like, so, so, you know, when I, <laughs> I had this wallet, you know what I mean? So, it was sitting on the desk and then, you know, like, and like, this is a devoted Christian. He like, you know, she was like, yo, what the hell is that? What the hell? You know, so I was like, you know, what you gonna see here, baby? Baby, you gonna see the tits of my son. <laughs> first, first off, first okay. off, first off, like when you with me, you always win. You always win. Wait a minute, Russell, Russell, <laughs> Russell, go, go Hawks, Russell. You know, but 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 if you look at it, if you look at it, we could talk about we could talk about the another SAT world. We could talk about the dichotomy of this, like right. you know, all, like uh, you know, every day of the fucking week. Society loves future. Yes. Same same reason yes. why same reason why we talk about why why are gangs, drug dealing, you know, scamming like all that. Why is that glorified? And like the cat that went to college, got his degree, got a look, got a great nine to five or whatever here. Right. Want like wants to be married and have kids and live like live life, quote unquote, depending on how look, depending on how you look at it, the right way. Right. That's shunned like that's shunned upon it. He's looked at it as corny. He looked at it as a sucker and yeah. all this other shit. Yeah. But as soon as like the guy over here goes to jail, free my nigga. Right. You know. But you know what's what's even funnier? What's even funnier to me is that, you know, the rappers are great. You yeah. know, they 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 serve their purpose in the in community and society just uh-huh. like the athletes do. Yeah. <laughs> but the funny part is that the rappers talk about bitches and hoes. I got bitches, I got hoes, I got money and all this, right? You know where you're going with this. But every last single one Fucking man. of your favorite artists, of your favorite rappers, most of them are married. Hold on, most of them are married. Most of them have fucking college degrees. Yes. And 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 upstanding citizens. And are upstanding community. citizens in society and they really truly fucking love their wife. The beef, the beef that y'all see out is fucking fake. Oh man. It's the drug it's to draw attention to a release that's got, you know, matter of fact, you know what? That's another show. You, you know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? I'm slap. Look, I'm going wheel on somebody. Don't go wheel on him. Look, I'm a Don't slap, you go wheel on him. I'm going to slap the fuck. Don't I'm you a, go wheel slap, on him. I'm going to slap the fuck out of him. I'm going to slap the fuck out of him. <laughs> Keep your hands out <laughs> my Skittles. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, bro. Yeah. I, but you know, I, like I said, we could talk. We could talk different ways about all this shit. But like, it's not. Look, it's not corny. It's not corny doing right. It's by not somebody. corny, man. It's, it's not, not corny, corny to have morals. It's not. It's not corny. Cor- it's, look, fellas, it is not corny to fuck and and love and and have fun and everything else with one goddamn woman. It's not corny. 
Now, hey, now, damn it, women, we done got y'all backs, but shit, y'all got to have fun back, back with us, too. Now, shit. Don't be Jada in us. God don't be, it. don't Jada us, y'all. That's the new fucking adjective. Don't, don't you Jada, Jada me. <laughs> don't you Jada me. You Jada in right now. You acting real pinkish right God, now. God, you. Bo- <laughs> so you go, you going you go keep acting Jada? You acting real pinkish see, right now. That's what, see, I done told you about that. You acting like a Jada. <laughs> He's just getting mad. He's just getting mad. You acting like a Jada right now. Get mad. <laughs> Man, fuck these Jadas. I can't get jiggy with this I shit. I can't get jiggy with this. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, but seriously, it is like, fellas, look, and the, my young fellas, yeah, you know, it, it, look, it, is not, it is not fucking corny. It's not corny, man. And matter, I'm about to say, matter of fact, matter of fact, you excel. You excel once you get the right woman behind you. Get you get the right one behind you. Man, you get the right one behind you, man, there's... The sky is the limit for you, man. You get the right one behind you, yeah. man. You you you're really gonna fly like a bird, and you really ain't got shit. And so y'all wonder, you know. <laughs> now here's the deal. Now, did Sierra put the goodies on him, and so the nigga couldn't function? Yeah, I don't think he probably had never had no pussy like Sierra's ever before. Probably not. Right. So she up there doing especially d- not in Wisconsin. <laughs> yeah, she probably she probably up there doing music videos <laughs> and shit <laughs> on him, and he like, damn, I've never experienced this before. <laughs> This is my good. These are my goodies. <laughs> Not, these are my goodies. Wow. They, they said my, I t- she do it like this. She like, do it like that. Hey, hey. Hey. It's not hers. These are my goodies. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he saw. Look, he saw singing that shit. I got a sick reputation. I got for handling <laughs> bras. That's all I need is be a few seconds of ball. As a matter of fact, <laughs> that nigga would come, Petey Pablo, like a motherfucker, man. Yeah, Petey, Petey, love you too. <laughs> Petey, 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 love you too. My God, yo! But I, like, yeah, there's nothing need, wrong with it, man. There's not. We need to change. Like, we need to change the fucking narrative. We bro. do need to change the narrative, man. And you it's know? just, it's gonna be hard though, even though because of pause, you know, pause. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all take a drink. <laughs> Y'all take a drink. <laughs> <laughs> Just so everybody can see my face. Oh shit! Yeah, yo, like it's <laughs> gonna be a tough task. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Can't say that around here. Yeah. Oh, just saying. <laughs> but I'm so sure it's gonna be a tough task <laughs> to change the narrative. <laughs> but that's the goal and idea. Yes, it's gonna happen. To it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. You know, <laughs> over here at midweek. <laughs> <laughs> over here at midweek, we subscribe. We subscribe to the one on one situation. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck, bro. Look, I look, I could just fit uh, look. I, I know the fucking message come through. I can just picture that shit right now. So let's go ahead, bro. Black on business. Let's get into I'm it. Sorry. Let me get my theme music. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right, here we go, hold y'all. On, we get into on. our black hold on, on business. Bro. Hold, hold on, bro. On. Yeah, let me get my theme music. There it is. There it is. So this week's black on business, of course, is brought to you. Black on business is brought to you by our sponsors. Assist4u.com. They can take care of all of your small business needs and your social media needs. So make sure you check out Assist for You, www.assist4u.com. Hey, that's the number four. Assist4u.com. This week's Black Owned Business comes to you right here out of Dallas, Texas. It's called Pressed Roots. Pressed Roots, 320 Singleton Boulevard, Suite 160, Dallas, Texas, 75212. They are right there in Trinity Groves, right? You can get your hair done, ladies. And this is the best part about it. You get to sip mimosas while you get your hair done. Damn. All right? You get to sip mimosas while you get your hair done right there at the bar at the beauty salon called Press Roots right there in Trinity Groves, 320 Singleton Boulevard, Suite 160, Dallas, Texas, 75212, Trinity Groves. And that is our black-owned business of the week. Pressed roots. Ooh. All right, man. This uh, album of the week. Uh, this uh, album of the week, bro. Uh, uh. See, I said, I said once we hit 100, we turned over a new leaf. Yeah. You know? I'm not playing anybody else's music except for, <laughs> my, except for mine. That means my beats, my, like, my, like my songs with my fucking lyrics. Anybody else's? I mean, if you look, if you want us wants to play you gotta play you gotta yeah what he say yeah you know just that simple holler at us yeah vibe midweeks at 
gmail.com. That's it. That's it. Holla at us. You know? But this is a week. I kind of hate that shit, bro. I kind of hate that I'm not playing fucking I music. I know. I know. Because this fucking artist. Yeah. My God. You mm. know? Jay Z song, it say what, 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 legacy, right? Yeah. Legacy, legacy, legacy. Legacy. You know? And it, look, and this is a hell of a fucking legacy. And it's, look, it's, it's funny because the shit goes in line with, you know, your, uh, your lyric lounge and shit. Oh, shit. It goes in line with your lyric lounge and who you did, you know, yeah. doing the lyric lounge. Today's artist or the, like, the album of the week comes from Alex Isley. Oh. And Jack Dine. Love it. The album is entitled Mari Gold. Oh. Nine joints. Nine. Oh, yeah. See, that might be on the playlist tonight when I hit the Yo. When I hit the air. I promise you. All yeah. the way, look, all the way the fuck through. Oh. Her look, her albums are always. And there's something about Alex Osley. She like her and her team, like, they the anticipation for all her projects. Oh man. Because Alex will tease the fuck out of you. Ooh. You talk Facts. about, hold on, you talk about a woman in the bedroom, whatever, you talk about a strip tease, or when you first start dating a woman, and like, you know, y'all kissing, and you, you feeling on the ass, and all this other <laughs> shit, and she's like, wait, 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 I don't know you yet. I don't know you, it's just too soon, I don't know you. That's Alex. That's Alex. She'll drop a Lucy. Ooh. And then, like, you know, a little bit later, you know, a couple months down the line, she may go live and do like a little snippet. Mm. Of something that she's working on, or love it. Just post a little video or picture of her and Jack Dine in the studio, or whatever yeah. like that. So this album, I don't even know, like if she's calling it an album. It's nine it's joints, business. okay. But it, mm, it's I've been waiting. I've been that. waiting. I've been waiting since you know the last little because she dropped a little series of EPs or whatever. But this is look, Ronald, Ronald Isley and Isleys. This is this is Ron's like niece. This is so. This is re that's really his yes. niece. So yeah. they are really related. I forgot. I forgot his name. So the guitarist, Ernie. Er, this is Ernie's daughter. What? Yes, this is Ernie's daughter. Yeah, bro. This is Ernie's daughter. No wonder the music sounds the way it sounds. I look. I've I'm been, not surprised anymore. I've, I've been waiting, bro. And I look. And I want to look. I want to send her a message. I'm look, not surprised. Look, won't you and your daddy do a duet album? That's why I was like, well, why don't just get get your daddy and your uncle, and y'all make an album? No, not even your uncle. Just your daddy. Like he look, he look. Guitar solo, guitar. guitar solos on every fucking <laughs> on every song. Man, Ernie can man, Ernie can lay a guitar solo. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. I'm with that. I'm with that. There it is. So Alex Isley and Jack Dine. I love it. Mari Gold. Yeah, I gotta go check. Is the album of the week. What up, Flip? You know, Flip. What up, Bacardi Dallas fam? What up, Bacardi Flip? Bacardi Dallas fam. There we go. All right, look, we are. <laughs> we had fun tonight, bro. We ain't had oh no choice. Oh my god! Yet. So yeah, we had fun tonight, man. So you know what? I'm not surprised that we ended up Don't going worry over. About that. I'm chopping. Look, I'm chopping this fucking episode up tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm chopping this Damn, shit up. This one got so many sound bites in it. Oh Y'all finna get all the sound bites god, now, bro. <laughs> Yo. Once again, yeah, man. Once again, we want to thank like our, you know. You know, our fans, our people, you know. Midweek Vibe is brought to y'all by Bacardi Dallas, you know, and Steelhouse USA. You know, let the vibe go with a glass can. Man. Boom. We thank you, know? you, Jay. Thank you for tuning in. Make sure you come back next week. We appreciate yes. you. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Tell some, Bring some people with you, darling. Tell somebody about us. You know, we appreciate you coming, but tell some more people about us. She said, you guys are hilarious. We appreciate you, Jay. Appreciate it. Thank you. you Thank know? you very much. But tell some people about us. Yeah. So, so everybody can come laugh on Wednesday <laughs> night. Everybody needs to laugh in the midweek. Yeah. Because the rest of the week, what the fuck? Hey, what the fuck? So, other than that, you can catch us on <laughs> the top seven platforms in the world. That is Spotify. Boom. Apple Podcasts iHeartRadio, boom, YouTube, boom, Google, boom, Pandora, boom, and what else am I missing? Audible. There you go. Yeah. Audible. All right. And be on the lookout. This is episode 103. 103. So we officially have eight more episodes into the live show. If you missed the first, if you missed the first fucking live show, Ooh. now we were in the middle of a parallelogram. We 
were. Oh, coming out of that shit, so we understand. And it look, no, nah, we just came off of Ice Storm. We in had just came out, yeah. We had just literally just came out for Ice Storm in Dallas, and that shit was. But for everybody that showed up, you were in for a fucking treat. Yes. And so this one is going to be even bigger, pause and better. Yeah. So make sure that you come out and uh, stay tuned. We finna make it happen. Stay tuned. And for everybody else out there, we appreciate you. We love you for tuning in. You know, for 103 episodes. 103. You know, we got a lot more to go. Yeah, man. Hope you ride the wave. All right. So, with that being said, may we all stand. Mm. <laughs> it's been another episode of Midweek Vibe. I'm your boy, Cobain. That is Draper Winston. I am. Until next week, people. Peace.